Here tonight at Paynton Rugby Club, uh, we're awarding Paynton with one of our Gold Standard Legacy Awards. When we set out to create the legacy from 2015 Rugby World Cup, we made a, a really conscious effort to invest heavily in club facilities and we've done over 520 investments now into rugby clubs and Paynton are one of the 15 to have received one of the Gold Standard Awards for, for Social Spaces work. Well, it's absolutely fantastic. We won the Gold Award and we have it being presented by Prince Harry. This is the first time that we've had loyalty down here. Absolutely fantastic. Projects like this help to grow the game in many ways. They help to bring more people through the doors. And also, really importantly, it, it helps with the financial sustainability of the club. We've improved the clubhouse and we are now building a new changing room at the other side of the ground. And the membership is growing and growing, so it's absolutely fantastic. I think to Paynton as a club and Paynton as a town actually, this is a massive day for them and we can see by the, the large number of people that we've got around the club waiting to, uh, to get a glimpse of Prince Harry. I think it was pretty important to have someone from the royal family come down to a rugby club because it sort of um, puts uh, Paynton sort of everywhere on the news and things and like makes us more recognisable. It's great that he's the patron of the All Schools programme. I've been a teacher now for sort of 15, 16 years and of all the initiatives I've been involved with, I think the All Schools initiative is, is by far the best initiative in terms of targeting a particular sport and in this case rugby. It, it just puts the, the local school, our school, Painting Academy on the map, but it also puts the local rugby club on the map, Painting Rugby Club, and it's about working together. So it's been a, a really, really big event.